Morgan Yates and today I am back trying something I never thought I would try and that is running. As a non-runner, can't even tell you the last time I ran prior to this challenge. It had been like years. If you've been following my videos for a minute, then you may remember. A while back, I tried doing 30 days of boxing. I've taken on a bunch of other fitness challenges throughout time, a bunch of like influencer workout programs, and just trying new fitness things is something I really love to do. I took on 30 days of running because National University, today's video sponsor, challenged me to try something new for 30 days as part of their 30 Days of Change campaign. So if you're unfamiliar with National University, they are a veteran-founded nonprofit university based out of San Diego that offers 30-day online classes designed for busy working adults versus other universities where you're juggling a lot of classes in one semester at National University they're broken down into four week blocks they have over 75 degree programs offer affordable tuition as well as have over 30 million dollars in scholarships so if you would like to join me in trying something new for 30 days by taking a class I'm gonna have info on all of their course offerings in the description box so thank you to them for including me in their 30 days of change campaign and if this is the first video you're seeing of mine I would love if you would subscribe also comment below something you want to challenge yourself to for the next 30 days Let's go ahead and hop in. Starting with some predictions or goals, I guess I really only have one main one, and that is that, of course, I hope to just get faster with this, but I really have no clue how fast of a mile I can even run. And my biggest goal here is just to actually stick with this for the full, consistent 30 days, because if you've watched my other challenge videos, you know I have a tendency to like miss some days here and there and extend it and whatever. So for this one, I am set on doing this 30 days consistently. Let's get started, hopping into day one. Day one. <laughs> Trying to decide if for today, cause I have literally not run, like not even attempted to run, not even run from like my front door to my car. Like I have run no distance in so long. So I really have no idea where my endurance and whatnot is at with running itself. For day one, do I want to just like push it to the max and like run as far as I can? Or is that a bad way to start? Because then I'm gonna feel the need to like push myself 100% every single day and then like that discouraged me from wanting to run on future days because I feel like I have to do so much. Like is it better to start with just like, I wanna run a mile every day and like maybe build off from that or maybe just stick with the mile and it be consistent. In any case, watching up, we're gonna track it. Let's get ready to run for the next 30 days. Here we go. All right. Got going. I thought I measured this out properly beforehand. I thought it was gonna be a mile. <laughs> it ended up being 0.89. And I've definitely learned a couple things already. For example, I need to double knot my shoes. I think I stopped four times to tie my shoes and then I was like, why am I not double knotting these? Did that. Secondly, I wore a pair of leggings because I had a pocket so I could put my phone in it. So I could be hands-free running. Apparently the pair I put on was too big in my waist. The whole time I was just pulling up my pants. So this was like, <laughs> not good for time purposes i did 0.89 miles not a lot and my time was 10 32 which i feel like i could run a whole mile in that time so now we know with these setbacks also i'm thinking a different day i might want to just drive somewhere and run somewhere because where i live it's like stop sign every like five feet it feels like so i'm having to make a lot of stops anyways average mile pace was 11:45. we're gonna work to get that down by the end anyways day one complete 29 to go a quick observation that the sidewalks around here suck they're all like cracked and up and down and i feel like i'm gonna trip the whole time day two i strategized much better and i mapped out the exact mile this time and i did it in 10 35 so we clearly came down a lot off of yesterday's time it goes to show how much i was having to like stop and tie my shoes and pull up my pants and the whole shebang success My time today was 10.20 for like exactly a mile, which I just feel like it's very slow. Like I'm generally, like I'm a strong person. I'm generally in good shape. Like my endurance is actually pretty good. So I don't know why, like what it is with running that is just like mentally challenging for me to like keep doing. Like I want to stop not actually because it's hard or because I'm tired or because I can't go on. Like I was trying to check myself. Like I don't actually feel that tired at all compared to like any other workouts I do. So I know I could keep going, but something about it is just like, mentally hard i don't know how do i train myself to enjoy something that i i don't know if i necessarily enjoy you know is also a bit discouraging which again it's like i'm not pushing myself as hard as i could that's the other thing and i know i just feel like my times are very slow which again i'm not a runner i just thought they would be better i guess but i just googled like average mile running times for women like in my age group it says that the average mile for a woman 25 to 29 is 11:42. 
which that sounds slow. The article said, a non-competitive, relatively in-shape runner usually completes one mile in about nine to 10 minutes on average. If you're new to running, you might run one mile in closer to 12 to 15 minutes as you build up endurance. Why do I have it in my head that everyone runs a mile in like seven and a half to eight minutes? <laughs> Are all of my friends just incredibly in shape? Yes, so maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know, it's what we're working with. We'll see where things go. We're on to day 10. This is like a third of the way through already. I feel like things so far have been pretty good. At the end of this, I wanna hopefully have a progression with like the time it took me to run a mile. But like day to day, I'm not that bothered with what my mile time is. However, it has been generally pretty annoying to have to stop at 45,000 stop signs, it slows me down, it keeps me from like really being able to zone out, I feel like. There's never a moment of like, I'm just relaxing running, it's like, I don't know, paying attention for like cars and pedestrians and like, which way I'm gonna go next. Yesterday, in an effort to eliminate those factors, I actually drove to Beverly Hills. There's a lot of long streets without stop signs for like long periods of time and just like beautiful palm tree views. I also think I really, like when I have a pretty view, it is just so much more motivating as well. It's a little switch up for like being a third of the way into this. And today I'm just back in my neighborhood on our little uneven sidewalks. <laughs> Anyways, carrying out day 10, let's get it. Also as a general progress update yesterday, my mile in Beverly Hills was 10.05. It took off a good chunk of time not having to like wait around to stop lights and stop signs. Who knew this would be a video about so many traffic laws? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know why today I'm just so physically so tired. <laughs> the thought of getting up to do this is not it. I am exhausted. I've been laying here all day, like working from bed. The sun is setting in like 30 minutes, so I'm really just almost out of time. But oh my God, I don't know if I'm just getting in a slump out of nowhere on this so fast or if I just didn't sleep enough, which I didn't. I'm having the single longest day of my entire life. I just pulled into my driveway. <laughs> Oh, I put on lip gloss to pretend I have my life together, but all I want to do is lay down. Do not want to do this right now, but I'm going to. Ah. We are on to day 13. I ran first thing this morning and I'm just sitting here planning out my next 24 hours. I have the busiest week ahead. Tomorrow, literally from like first thing in the morning through like late into the evening. I have so many things like back to back. And so I'm realizing that the only time I would be able to run tomorrow is if I were to literally wake up. I'm talking like run at like 6 a.m. We're talking about that. So that does not sound ideal. And I feel like I could easily just, you know, give this a little day break and then tack on another day to the end. And like, that is fine. Like what's the big difference at this point? But I really am for once in my life. If you guys remember when I did like a 30 days of boxing video, like I was so inconsistent with that, which was fine. Like there were a lot of lessons I learned from that. You can check out that video if you want to, but instead of just going the same route, I really with this wanted to try to actually like stick this out every single day for 30 days and like maintain that consistency and like, just have that be rewarding. <laughs> I feel like I owe it to myself in order to follow through with those goals to actually like suck it up and wake up and do something I would never normally do, which is go on a run or do anything at 6 a.m. There is time I could technically do it like later tomorrow evening, but it'd be like eight o'clock. I just don't feel good about that as being like a lone girl in the wild, <laughs> you know? It has been, I would say this has been challenging being constrained to doing this within the daylight hours and like with the sun setting so early because I do of course just want to be safe and I don't feel comfortable running after dark. So therefore this is just like another thing that's been added to like my daily like work working hours i guess because the sun sets at like 5 or 5 30. i don't know it has been a little bit of a stressful point the past few days <laughs> having a little tiny bit of a burnout moment i think but i am gonna suck it up and wake up tomorrow and go on a 6 a.m run let's do it <laughs> So bring this back to today's video sponsor. If you're someone who's maybe been thinking about going back to school, but you feel like you don't have time for it because you're already such a busy adult, again, National University's classes really are designed to flexibly fit into your schedule in those 30 day blocks. I can only imagine the challenges to go back to school as an adult learner, but I feel like some of the lessons I learned throughout this challenge can apply to many situations in life. On a lot of these days, as you're seeing, I was lacking in motivation or in the moment, I just didn't feel like I could do it. But above my feelings in any given moment was my greater goal and that was completing the challenge. So if a goal of yours is to go back to school and further your education, I really encourage you to take the steps necessary to get to that goal, even if it does feel intimidating right now, or if you are lacking in motivation, or if it gets hard along the way, you know, eyes on the goal. And I feel like anytime you try something new, a lot of times the hardest part is just getting started. So consider this your push. And looking back at this day in the challenge, I'm so glad that I went on that 6 a.m. run instead of just adding an extra day on, because being on the other side of it, it's been some time and it just feels like it was no big deal. It's just like in the moment that it was such a challenge and now I just get to be proud of myself that I stuck to it. It is so, so early. Day 
day 19. Not feeling this today. I've had the most stressful week. Yeah, I don't know. I've been glued to a screen all day. It feels like that's just what I've been doing every single day this week. Spirits are low. It's also cold out, which is not motivating to like want to be outside. It's just the getting started. That's what's so hard. I'm like learning this lesson with this running thing. I'm learning it with work this year. Like I just have slowed down. Like, I don't know, last year I was just grinding it out, I feel like. I just let things come to such a halt that it is so hard to like get things moving again. I don't know, I know just every day that like the second I actually leave to go on this run, like immediately it's easy to get into it and like, I'm so glad I did it, but it's just like getting to the start is just like the most challenging part for whatever reason. So I don't know, literally I'm going to be up all night tonight. It's just so much work. Normally on days like this where I'm super pressed for time and super stressed, I would just not put the pressure on myself to also work out. I mean, working out though, it does like relieve a lot of stress for me. It's a big source of joy for me, especially like going on hikes or like going to a boxing class, things like that, that I really, really love. And I wouldn't say that I have the same <laughs> joy or relaxation found in running, potentially yet, I don't know. I'm carrying on. So around the day 20 mark, I was really missing my hikes and just starting to burn out a little bit. And I thought it could be a good change of scenery to actually just go to the place that I used to hike in the evenings here in LA and instead just try to run as much as I could of it, which I did not expect to be able to run like the whole way up. But it was a bit easier than I thought. I was probably running like 80 to 90% of the way up. Right, we made it to the top. I always like to take a second up here to like stop my music and just be happy that I live here because it is beautiful. Heading out for day 22. I have a lot of energy. I'm very excited. Yesterday and today I thought I would go back do the same hike again. It's been good to switch it up. Before this 30 days I really liked going and just like doing a walking hike even though it takes longer for me to get over there. Then of course it takes longer to actually hike up because you're on an incline than it does to just like run a flat mile here. It's just been exciting. I don't know. I've, I've really enjoyed the past few days. So we're going to maybe keep that up a little bit. I don't know. I always thought that running up a hike would just be like impossible, but I don't know. It's just, it's made a world of difference. I think being able to go somewhere with the view, but also that's just like a straight shot where I can like actually fully zone out. I think maybe that's been my deal, like my issue with running, not being able to just like zone out and like run, like again with the stop sign issue. It's nice to just like uh, just be in nature and fully zone out and like actually find it be like a very like relaxing restorative time. So I'm excited going there again today and let's go. One thing that I've learned is that I used to use those just like black masks that were super breathable because I thought that that was ideal for working out. But as time has gone on, these, which you can like breathe less through, I actually like better because the other ones, I feel like I'm always like deep breathing into my mouth and these, it's like they hold their shape. So I don't know, for the most comfortable workout, I've been liking these. Another day down. Day 25 complete. Day 26, we are in the home stretch. This hike situation has had me on such a roll. My miles again are like so much slower now because they're going uphill, but it has just been so like, I'm, I've am i been looking forward to this every day. I am just leaving so happy, so refreshed, full of endorphins and just like, this is just the best week ever is what it feels like. I don't know, just such a good way to like wrap up my work day. So it's like a good motivating factor as well to like make sure I get all my stuff done efficiently in time so that I can of course get there before sunset. I'm excited, <laughs> let's do it. So on day 27, my favorite boxing studio workout class here in LA opened back up. I have missed that place so, so much over the past year. I literally could not even wait four more days till the end of this challenge to like go back. Like I had to be there immediately. <laughs> so for the remaining few days, I was actually doubling up. I would go to a boxing class and then just run this mile in Santa Monica where the class was held, just like outside. But they were actually my easiest miles. I think because I already had my endorphins going, I was already in my workout groove, had like just finished this class feeling great. So yeah, these next few days were actually pretty easy to complete because I was just so happy like running off the joy of having these boxing classes back. Feeling it in my legs today. Oh, between the boxing and this. <laughs> We're on day 30. How in the world did we make it to day 30? Like I'm shocked. I genuinely didn't think I was actually gonna do this consistently for 30 days. If you would have asked me in the beginning to place a bet on this, I would have thought I was not gonna do it in 30 days. I don't know how we made it here. Honestly, I am floored. Yeah, I think it's been good like switching up locations and routines the past little bit. I've obviously been doubling up with like other workout classes or like going on a little hike run and things like that. So I genuinely have no clue what time I can actually like run a regular mile in. Like getting back to the beginning, I'm just gonna like compare it to in terms of like progress from where I started. So I am just gonna run my little neighborhood circuit today. I'm not doing a boxing class. We're just like 
trying to clean slate it, trying to compare this as closely as possible to our first couple days. So as a reminder on day one, I think my time was like 11.45. But day two, it was like, we took off like a whole minute of that because of the fiascos on day one. We're gonna see what we managed to accomplish with these 30 days. I've never been so excited for a run in my life. All right, so I'm back and the final results are my day 30 mile time is 9.20. You tell me if it's good. I don't know, I'm proud of myself. So we cut off like one to two minutes from where we started. And again, that time is still with like having to like stop for a bunch of intersections. So I don't know, I'm pretty proud of it. That might be really slow to some people. Like for a fact, that is the fastest mile of my life I have ran. <laughs> Cause I'm just so not a runner, we get it. And so for day 30, we did it. So we have made it through the 30 days. I am just shocked that we actually completed this in 30 consecutive days. Oh, I try to think about things across like all of life is focusing on putting in the work and like focusing on the journey and the process versus finding all of the reward and the result, if that makes sense, because a lot of times results are out of your control. Of course, my amount of time did come down throughout this challenge, but that's not even what I am like that proud of, I guess. I'm so proud of myself that I was actually able to stick with this for 30 days. Every time I do one of these 30 day challenges, it just feels like such an investment in myself. And I always finish just so happy that I tried and learned something new. So on that note, thank you so much again to National University for challenging me to this. Again, I will have them linked below if you're interested in learning something new in 30 days, whether it be like a new skill, a new language, any interest that you're looking to build and invest in yourself by taking a class there. And again, I'm passing the challenge along to you guys. I really encourage you to think about something big or small that you can challenge yourself to do over the next 30 days. Setting one achievable goal that you can stick with every single day and just like at the end be so proud of yourself for being consistent for is just a really great feeling. I guess final take on running, I definitely like it more than I used to. I've come to really love my little run hikes. So I think we will keep that in business. So it's been a very rewarding 30 days. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.